Josh, how do you feel that just the overall maybe intensity and feistiness affected the game? I'm sorry, what was your question? How do I feel? I just, we just took an L, so I don't really feel great. Um, I feel like that's a typical feeling for a competitor. Um, yeah, it was a competitive game. Just like every other game is a competitive game. Uh, we need to be better down the stretch. Uh, I think there's things that we had in our control, um, and we didn't control the controllable. So we got a quick turnaround for a back-to-back -back game tomorrow, um, and we're just resetting and refocusing. 27-2, yeah, I usually call timeout and you go in the timeout and you can talk about the things that are hurting you. But, you know, uh, that's the game of basketball. It's a game of runs. I think we started the game, I don't know, I don't know what it was, so... Um, yeah, they ju they just uh, yeah that was a, a good run and we'll learn from it and get better. Is there anything that they did in the second half that kind of disrupted your flow? No, I think it was mainly us. Um, you know, we didn't get to the actions um, that we were getting to in the first half. Um, you know, uh, I think like anything in basketball, you know, you take what the defense gives you, and I think we just maybe settled a little bit too much. Um, I think we um, got stagnant a little bit too much. Um, you know, in the first half, uh, we had better movement. Uh, so, you know, those are all things that are in our hands and are very controllable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they were running faster than us. Yeah, it was more so us just not getting back. Um, Obviously, we're going for offensive rebounds when we miss shots, but we got to be able to get back. And, um, you know, teams are just, they're running transition, but they're running wide. So we got to stop running back to the paint. We got to find ball, force the side, and then fall in line. So that's on us, and that's on our transition defense. The uh, big crowd, Caitlin being here, feel like a playoff game for you guys? Felt like a home we, game to we've me. been selling out every game. Yeah, yeah. it felt like a normal yeah. home game to us. Yeah. Felt like a normal home, home game, game to us. Yeah. Yeah, it was fun. X Factor always shows up. Yeah. You gotta think of BG's impact playing on both ends and just ability to draw contact and keep the line. Yeah, it's huge for us. I mean, um, you know, when she can uh, dominate the paint like that on both ends, it makes you know our team better. So yeah, that was good. Mm -hmm. Let me put my Spanish brain on. We love that. <laughs> this is such a flex. Go ahead, talk to us. Last night, the atmosphere was at a level. Desafortunately, it didn't have the result that you expected. But can you put it in perspective the X Factor for the Abre Hispana, how important it is here at home? Did you ask how important the X Factor is? Yeah, look at you. And well, when they play in the house, we always cuando tenemos los fanáticos que tenemos acá hace 20 años que ya vinieron todos los partidos y esta noche estaba bien lindo um, obviamente queríamos ganar el partido para ellos uh, pero jugamos mañana otra vez y otra vez van a venir mañana y mañana se da un mejor um, resultado para este equipo y para los fanáticos de acá de Phoenix Sí, bueno, Caitlin, la verdad que es una fenómeno, es una crack um, desde chiquita y lo que hizo en, en la universidad, um, la verdad, increíble y ahora el primer año de la WBA, vos sabés que ella juega a un nivel bien grande y la verdad que lo que está haciendo para uh, el deporte de básquet es increíble y, y viendo lo que va a hacer en el futuro, la verdad que uh, me va a dar mucho orgullo. Ah, no. She asked... Uh, you want to you want to ask a question in, in English? Um, yes, my question uh, to her was that. So you could get the previous question. Previous to the game, she had um, expressed how uh, she admired Diana um, in the in basketball and coming up as a new player. How um, I'm, trying to, I'm trying to translate from English from Spanish to English. Sorry. Um, and seeing seeing Diana's um, 
evolution in play, how that, what goes through Diana's mind when she hears that? Yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Uh, you know, what Caitlin's been able to do um, in her short career so far has just been uh, nothing short of remarkable. Um, and, you know, the one thing that I really love about her, she loves the game. Um, you can tell she's put the work in. Um, and even, you know, throughout, you know, her short WNBA career, uh, it's been a lot of pressure, a lot of things thrown at her. And, uh, you know, she keeps showing up and keeps getting better every single game. So um, her future is, is super bright. And, uh, you know, being a veteran and being in this league for a long, long time, uh, you know, it's pretty cool to see that and, you know, going into the future. Yeah, you know, um, I think we just have to find that consistency over 40 minutes. I mean, we show we could play at a high level, and then there's times where, you know, we look around and we gotta, you know, we gotta tighten up. So, um, you know, it's still a work in progress. Uh, that's what this season is. That's what this league is. And, uh, you know, we're gonna continue to build, continue to get better, continue to trust each other, um, and, uh, you know, we have another opportunity tomorrow. So you got two young teams in here between LA yeah. and Indiana. Now you go to Connecticut, a team that has mm -hmm. just as much. Mm -hmm. Putting this game aside as quickly as possible, what is the, the focus going into tomorrow, knowing that this team is on the same level as you with regard to experience, with regard to championships, and just having that mentality of we are the top team in the NW? Yeah, um, I think it's just our experience overall. Uh, that's a great team, Connecticut coming in. It's a very even team, even scoring. Um, they've been together for years. Mm -hmm. uh, but for us, it's no different than how we go into every game. It's about Mercury basketball. It's about us getting better every single day. It's about us gelling and getting that chemistry and just proving what we know we have in this locker room. But like DT just said, we got to be able to span that over 40 minutes and not you know, drop it in the third quarter. Oh, I mean, I think uh, more importantly, I think she's done a lot for the Indiana Fever. You know, that's a team that, um, you know, for the last, you know, couple years um, is trying to get to back to their glory days of Tamika catchings and, and putting up banners. So obviously what she's done, you know, I think nationally for the game has been pretty incredible. And, you know, whenever you have that momentum coming out of college and, you know, the eyes on you for four years um, straight. So I think what she's doing for that team right now is, is pretty impressive. And, uh, you know, that's the, the, when I think of her, I think of what she does for her team. Oh man! Finals. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you were in a similar situation when you came out 20 years ago. Um, how do you remember navigating that? Just, I mean, the media wasn't the same, but you still had a lot of attention on you. You had to earn your respect in the league. What do you remember about how you navigated all that attention coming out of college? Yeah, I loved to compete. I loved it. You know, I just loved to play basketball. I really didn't care too much about outside noise or what people thought of me or what they didn't think of me. Um, so I enjoyed every minute. I loved it. Being a rookie was cool, man. It was fun. You could do whatever you want. You, you didn't know, know any thriving. better. It was fun. I loved thriving. it. I had a great rookie year. <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> Living your best life. You know, Sports Illustrated, <laughs> Slam. Is that what you mean? Yeah, it was out there. ESP in the magazine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're too young. You don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what I'm talking about. Hey, You know, that's strange. <laughs> yeah, it's strange, Jeff. You're at home and, you know, there's people room for their team. Yeah, it's strange, but whatever. We're going to end with two on Zoom. Dana? It was strange. Yeah, it was strange. <laughs> it's weird. Hey, just one question about the matchup between Griner and Boston tonight. Where do you see that this basically held you uh, guys when you were when they were in that 17 5 run and you hit that 3 what exactly do you see as uh, help working to get Ryan the ball and uh, help her get going uh, towards the stretch? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're trying to play collective basketball. You know, it's, you know, uh, I know sometimes we try to focus on one person, but, you know, our team works best when 
it's collective and we're, sh we're playing with shared cognition and um, you know we try to find advantages within that and obviously today BG had that on a couple opportunities but you know it's collective everyone uh, needs to share in that um, and I think today we did we did a good job for the most part but you know a lot of room for improvement. That's a really crappy. Both uh, you veterans have seen a lot of competitive season. I'd just like to ask you, as, as everybody's reaching the halfway point, where does this season rank when you look at, I mean, realistically, at this point, with a lot of teams getting healthy, where number seven is kind of where you're at right now? Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, we're going to get to the end of the season. I mean, we have to look at the next couple of weeks. But what is your outlook on this season? Yeah, I think this is the most kind of evenly matched that the league has been in a few years. Um, used to be, I said this, you, in my first few years, you used to be able to walk into some, certain games and be like, we literally just have to lace up and we're going to be good. That's not the case anymore. Um, that's the growth of our game. Uh, that's the growth of this league over the last few years. It's the growth of the rookie class coming in and adding to what was already established here. Um, and it's really fun to play. Every single night, you have to bring your best game. and. Um, we're doing that every single day, and we're just trying to get better. Uh, but this is a beautiful time for women's basketball as a whole, um, but especially the W. So if you're not supporting the full W, the full W, then, man, you're missing out on some really great basketball 